Hey everyone, it's me again, and I am going to play around with my uh, wig that is very ashy. <clears throat> I think it looks almost green sometimes in certain lights. It's just a little too ashy for me. So let's go ahead and play. Let's uh, see what we can do with the Rue Fancyful Mousse. And directions are shake well before using, apply on clean towel dried hair. I'm going to apply it on dry hair first and then I'll spray it down if I need to. Uh, can must be held upside down. Dispense desired amount onto palm of hand and distribute evenly throughout the hair with both hands. Comb or brush. Do not dilute and do not rinse. So here we go folks. I didn't have the can really upside down, but here's Frivolous Fawn. Like I said, I had a lot of experience with this color in beauty school. Um, we would allow the clients to bring in their rinse if they wanted, um, if they had one, and we would apply it at the shampoo bowl when we shampooed them. Um, those, of course, were our elderly clients. And it gets on your hands, but it'll come off because it's just a temporary. So I'm just going to spray it a little bit with water. And this time, turn it upside down because I don't want to mess up my can. And um, at Leslie's, she charged $8 uh, for each of these. I have no idea what they would cost in your area. Uh, check at your local beauty supply. I'm not sure if Sally carries the Rue color, but um, Sally might. Now, I don't know that I'm going to put this all over, you know, or try to get it completely through the whole wig. Um, I just wanted to kind of change the tone a little bit from it being so ashy blonde to a little warmer. And I think we've accomplished that. Now, I don't know how long this is gonna take to dry because and this is a synthetic wig. Um, maybe I'll use my hair dryer on the cold setting. I've done that before with my synthetic wigs. Um, and as long as you keep it on the cold setting, you're okay. You know, you have the cool setting, and then you should have the button. Um, or added. Well, I don't know how much of a difference this makes. It still looks kind of ashy to me, but it's also wet. And, uh, you know, the lighting in here isn't the best. I apologize for that, but it's... You know, four o'clock, and so it's dark outside because that's what happens when you live as far north as we do. So, just gonna rinse my hands off here, show you guys it'll come off of your hands, and then when you shampoo your wig or your hair, if you want to do this to tone your hair, you can certainly do that. Um, when you shampoo, it will come right out. And as long as it doesn't get wet, it really probably shouldn't transfer onto your pillow. Although, I don't know from personal experience. I've, like I say, I've only used this in the salon on clients. When I was in, not in the salon, but in beauty school. And so, see, it came off. And I did put, um... A bag on underneath because I didn't want to get my mannequin head stained or not stained but you know colored so I just put the Cosmoprof bag over the top and uh, yeah so I think that made it a better color Oops, got a little bit on my finger there. So 
so pretty cool and I will um I will link Ornell's uh, video that she had done and she had the uh, the silver lining that's what she used on her wigs that were too gold so and I have some um, what is it 27 613 wigs coming a couple of those and so in anticipation of that maybe being a little too apricot color I got the silver one so okay guys um, well I will let you guys know how it looks once it's dried and um, sewing in my wefts into my um, Vivica Fox wig and I'm gonna show you what I look like with my new blonde curly wig on so you guys can probably get a laugh but I thought it was kind of fun I thought maybe I'll even wear it to work tomorrow and surprise everyone although I think I'm the only, I know I'm the only stylist who's working Janet might be doing nails but at least surprise my clients so well anyway thanks for so much for watching if you have any questions feel free to leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and uh thanks Ronell it's a great idea bye